has an experience of over 30 years in the field of hr admin training and development in corporate and educational sector he has trained over a lakh of employees he is a prolific writer and poet in tamil having published several anthologies of poems and self development books he has been awarded with the cultural titles vidya ratna sadhanayalar and palkalai kalainga we welcome you sir thank you gayatri uh, for the wonderful introduction yes sir now was it uh, Har- was it harini or gayatri uh, i'm gayatri sir i'm introducing you harini is sharing the screen fine wonderful thank you both of yes. you yes sir now let's welcome the head of the department of human resource management dr nc martin dr nc martin is a highly experienced academician with 20 years of academic and administrative experience as professor hod dean and registrar he did his post graduation in labor management and phd in labor laws from tamil nadu institute of labor studies he started his career as a lecturer from the same institution he held various positions such as assistant professor and hod of msw department in sri chandra prabhu jain college professor and hod of mba department in sams college of engineering and technology he was also the placement officer for the entire division of sams college of engineering and technology during his tenure he successfully placed engineering and management graduates in top notch companies of manufacturing and service sectors across the country he continued his career in st joseph college of arts and science as dean of academics and registrar in lb prasad film school one of the best film schools in asia he acted as a jury representing the employers federation of southern india for the selection of companies for the best practices for the year 2018-19 he has also added a number of research papers and publications to his credit he is expert in the subject of labor legislation and industrial relations he has given centum results in various hr specialized subjects in university examinations we welcome you sir this meeting is being recorded for educational purposes in case of any doubts or questions the participants can unmute themselves or type the questions in the chat box now i request dr nc martin sir to introduce the session yeah thank you gayatri for the introduction thank you sir yeah so very uh, a pleasant uh, a uh, rainy good evening to one and all present here and uh, on behalf of the management ashok kumar mundra our secretary and uh, our principal dr santosh babu and and all of our faculties and students i invite one and all being a part of this webinar and also i invite all the professors and students from other institutions and hr fraternities and uh, i am most uh, pleased to welcome our resource person dr k bala subramaniam the founder and ceo of the mission limited who so has given his uh, consent to host this webinar for everyone to get benefit out of his expertise and experience so the topics less is more the rate of investment from hr perspective so uh, it is uh, invest less in human resource and uh, gain more in terms of return that is in terms of uh, uh, gaining uh, return in terms of productivity of the employees so that is my perspective of understanding about a less is more so in business perspective we can say that the rate of investment measures the financial return on an investment made or uh, it can be applied to a business measuring the performance of the firm by assessing the net profit compared with the overall uh, net worth of the company so then what is investment perspective of hr when an organization views human resource as an investment so rather than the variable cost it has to be considered the cost the risk and the return when making the human resource decisions so the organization has to consider the suitability of the candidates uh, to the recurring jobs and uh, uh, should also train them accordingly so we all know that the people are the most important resources in an organization so the success or the failure of an organization largely depends on how this human resource are utilized to the best possible extent most of the organization focus on human resource management in terms of increasing the return on investment by maximizing uh, by maximizing the productivity of human resource therefore evaluating the quality the cost 
and uh, benefit of hr are very crucial to any organization so much like any other capital investment since human resource is a very important uh, a resource in organization as i mentioned human resource practitioners and management scholars have developed the concept of adopting an investment perspective in human resource it involves developing policies and programs in human resource in order to increase the value to the organization and also to the market just like other asset in the organization so the organization has to consider the suitability of the candidate or to the required jobs and has to train them so here the opportunity the cost of realizing the employees for training has to be considered along with the cost of conducting such trainings when comparing the return from those training such as employees loyalty and motivation the organization should also consider the risk of investment in human resource and uh, should devise suitable strategies to eliminate those risks as well even though human resource cannot be duplicated or limited by the competitors on as easily as other assets such as technology and facilities in an organization the employees themselves have the free will to move to competing companies so once an organization has developed a competitive advantage in human resource the competitors may try to attract those competent employees the competitor might even be a, a better position to offer a higher pay as they do not have to spend on training and development therefore the organization has to develop their human resource management policies and strategies in such a way to retain the employees and to transfer the knowledge among their employees within the organization moreover viewing employees uh, from an investment perspective allows the organization to be more proactive and uh, protect their own knowledge resources as they are being created for its own so on the whole we can say that organization adapting an investment perspective in human resource management allows them to make human resource decisions after considering the cost and benefit so with this i conclude session and leave the sessions to our resource person to dr balu subramaniam to share his expertise and experience and throw much inputs on the topic of uh, rate of investment on human resources thank you all the best have a evening one and all it was a very beautiful and useful introduction by our hod uh, dr martin sir thank and there are a uh, few uh, people uh, you know on my invitation have joined uh, so somebody like ariyaran uh, from one of the leading banks so i have not just checked the participants list but uh, we we'll still uh, you know have uh, some people to join perhaps so we already have uh, 58 people apart from me uh, in fact i must uh, you know congratulate the college the hod and the student uh, organizing committee for organizing such wonderful program i am told that this is something like uh, 35 programs you already done uh, during this uh, covid period so without uh, wasting much of the time of the students and uh, let me just tell you uh, dg vishnu college is not new to me it's like a home for me i've, I've been there uh, several times especially for uh, this the uh, mhrm uh, department i have addressed this, i think this must be the eighth or ninth the batch i am addressing and professor sakumar is very close friend of mine uh, similarly uh, dr vidya srinivas who retired also was very close to me and i have been invited uh, to the college uh, you know to address the uh, students on the first day orientation also a uh, couple of times so i am very happy to address uh, all of you on this uh, beautiful subject i request uh, gayatri to go to the presentation and uh, there is a title song to you know just enthuse uh, people uh, before we get into the subject just to make it in a lighter vein yes sir her name will share the screen now sir yes sir yeah
and change it to reality My mind is taking me higher, higher My mind is taking me higher, higher Rejoice words of truth, it fills your heart with honesty Simplicity is my power, power Simplicity is my power, power This is true, cause less is the more Days for more, be grateful in the moment. For in the moment, I wanna be in the moment, moment. I wanna be in the moment, moment. In the moment, the innocence of us when we are. There's nothing to fear, fear. There's nothing to fear, fear. This is true, cause now. Thank you, Ernie, for uh, sharing the title song. Hope uh, people have enjoyed uh, the uh, you know song. Uh, we'll go to the presentations right away. Just a minute, I'll share it. Yeah. Next slide. So uh, I'm very happy to address the future uh, leaders of the uh, DDG Vaishnav College and experts across the industry. Next slide. So this is the poster uh, done by you. So I, uh, you know, in fact, uh, pay my best regards to all the persons involved in this uh, program. We'll go to the next slide. So this is only more where more is no good. We have seen uh, in the uh, you know context of uh, Corona now, uh, you know though the population of the country is uh, more than 130 crores, only less people are affected. But the panic uh, that has been created, uh, you know, by the press and uh, various other uh, things, uh, you know, we are really worried. It's still not over, and people are uh, you know cautioning us, warning us saying uh, you know we need to be more careful uh, because uh, some more uh, relaxation has been done from november one and the 16th of november we are going to have some more relaxations and uh, diwali season is coming new year season is coming christmas is coming so uh, any kind of uh, you know less crowd can also cause uh, you know more uh, issues and uh, we don't want actually less ex you know excuses at all and we have to be very courageous we have to appreciate more we have to complain less uh, next slide please The more we value things, the less we value ourselves. That means there are a lot of things around us and how we value things around us and how do we value people around us and how do we value our own selves. It's very, very important. And, you know, 
that's very important to understand two important words here you know smart and sincere uh, if you know the uh, you know quick and crisp answer you can put it on the chat box we will uh, you know go through it later i'll just give you one minute time to type what do you think is smart what do you think is sincere it's like a 2s we we'll go to the next slide in the meanwhile i have not chosen this topic uh, from the title song but uh, very fortunately and incidentally i had a beautiful song in the net which i have taken uh, to use it here so that also said the same keeping things very simple it takes you know time and effort to make it very complicated it's very very easy to make things very very simple we have to take a lot of effort we have to take a lot of time so hope you have uh, written your answers i am not going into the chat box right now so uh, i'll just give you my answer because whatever you have typed you cannot uh, you know delete uh, so when you say smart uh, and sincere you can just uh, you know recall the story which is very very famous uh, you know in indian mythology uh, you know the lord ganesha and lord murga the parent of both the children lord shiva you know announces a competition whoever you know comes around the globe first they will be given the uh, wisdom fruit and as you know lord murga was very very sincere and uh, he took his uh, you know uh, peacock that is his you know vehicle and he went around the world it takes you know a lot of time for him to come back to face the fruit by the time the smart guy you know the ganesh ji or vinayak ji however we call him uh, you know he is asking with the parents he is checking with the parents so he, uh, world and parents are same to me what do you say dad yeah yeah absolutely you are right so he just takes a very quick round of the parents and they are so happy and uh, the fruit was given to lord ganesha so that means with very less effort less time less money and less uh, you know uh, energy he has achieved what was supposed to be achieved by him so that means uh, i am not saying you should choose a path of a shortcut don't just get into that people are of two categories one is smart the other one is sincere but before we get into that you have to understand there are seven ms in any industry they are all going to be the future managers you have already gone through three internships uh, and even different industries you have gone abroad for a training so this is a pattern of the you know uh, program that we have in dgwash now and in fact uh, uh, we always used to discuss with professor sakumar and other uh, colleagues over there that we have one of the most comprehensive uh, curriculum uh, even which uh, great lakes uh, cannot have uh, you know theory without practice uh, in fact uh, is useless and practice without theory is baseless so we are blending both so the combination is very very important so you have got to be very sincere also when i say sincere sincere to your management sincere to your own colleagues sincere to your customers and you cannot deviate from the systems that have been already established when you say 7 m's marketing so people now want to do less marketing and more results even during covid period people have put everything for covid 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 and they are attaching that slogan onto each of their product so that they are able to reach the mass and with less money people want to uh, you know achieve more results and material men method and machines and the seventh m perhaps some people may not use is the management that is the planning strategy uh, you know things like that so we need to spend less time on that but we should fetch fetches the maximum Uh, or more results into that so we are more concerned about men here because we are uh, dealing with the human resource part of it so we will uh, take up that and uh, i want you to first of all you know understand in each uh, you know organization you can classify people as specialist 
you know 30 percent of the people are a specialist and uh, there are also a lot of people who are having some attitude issues around uh, 30 percent will be generalists and uh, there are some 25 percent of the organization they have fast track that means they are very smart and slow action people no action people and no fit at all i just you know want to refer what our uh, hod martin sir said about the suitability uh, of late in the corporate people use uh, you know the psychometric tools thompson's dr thompson's tool used to be very very popular and now we have dr harrison's uh, who was uh, settled from usa in hong kong he has got a harrison's uh, you know matrix which talks about 50% is eligibility and 50% is suitability so eligibility comes so when once you apply for a job so there may be certain criteria given in the you know in the advertisement or they may just look at your profile and if it matches uh, if you are eligible they will, you will be called for an interview but when it comes to suitability it is uh, like you know uh, there is a culture in every organization how well you suit to that organization that's more important so that is how they check so 50 percent you are supposed to be uh, you know uh, eligible 50 percent you are supposed to be suitable that's uh, you know that's the thing that people are expecting from the you know the uh, human resources here we'll go to the next slide so have more than you show speak less than you know uh, we are seeing the big boss season four i know i don't know how many of you are watching uh, whoever has actually not uh, done any activity whoever has not done uh, you know uh, or uh, much of uh, politics there who have not opened uh, their mouth uh, they are always liked by people they are they are called the favorite people or popular people but uh, people do not expect you to keep quiet for a long time for instance you know it can be uh, the jitan ramesh kind of a people or ajit kind of a people or a som kind of a people so they try to provoke you so you have to show more than you uh, you know have and you have to speak less than you know if you speak more we are only you know revealing our ignorance and innocence so we need to understand that so uh, we'll go to the next slide the master accomplishes more and more by doing less and less until finally accomplishes everything by doing nothing you have to read it again and again it looks you know only just four lines you cannot become a master overnight only by practice only by making a lot of mistakes only by making the right decisions how do i make right decisions i take a decision and i go wrong and i come to know that i have taken a wrong decision and then i take another decision and then correct myself improve myself enhance myself uh, you know we we see a lot of advertisement during ipl upgrade upgrade that means you have to upgrade yourself the master accomplishes more and more by doing less and less that means once you become a master you don't do much you can remember now chris gale kind of a people or you know polar has not done so well in this uh, you know ipl you can talk about uh, you know uh, de villiers so that means with very less effort you can take even ardik pandya you get maximum results either four or six you just you know have to uh, rotate your wrist and the ball goes even out of the stadium so you become a master when you become a master you accomplish more and more by doing less and less until finally you, you know you accomplish everything by doing nothing that means systems are in place you just don't have to do anything when there is a seen bowler uh, like you know nadrajan or shami or let's say uh, uh, somebody from abroad uh, you know some people they'll just keep the bat and the moment they will not make a big stroke the moment they keep the bat and the bat and the ball it meets in the right place it it, it straight away goes to the boundary that means without doing you know anything i i would say without doing you know much without taking you know very uh, you know extraordinary effort you get the best result so that that's how masters you know get more results we'll go to the next slide 
and i want to tell you so you're all uh, you know going to be the leading young managers though the industry is not doing well there is a recession here don't just don't get worried here the placement may be a problem this year this that and all that and this is actually not you know applicable only to you this is a universal issue more than 200 countries are facing this problem every industry is you know they are facing the problem and let me tell you the manufacturing industries uh, the finished goods whatever has been dispatched uh, it has been cleared and the payment has not come some goods it's, it's just lying in the dock they have not cleared some are still in the uh, you know travel mode and in the factory also you have some finished goods lying uh, that was the time let us say march they have not even done the uh, year and close uh, they were asked to close uh, the order they were asked not to dispatch so there are certain uh, finished goods there are certain semi finished goods some raw material is lying anything that is lying in the factory and used let it be material let it be machine let it be the uh, you know men or let it be the method which was you know installed which is not been you know in practice now it's nothing but money don't look at it as you know the uh, material or the machine it's all lying idle there material is lying idle the machinery is getting idle that means you have to stop planning everything you have to make room for surprises anything can happen any time supposing uh, you know let's say yesterday uh, rcb lost their two three wickets very early so what happened they thought uh, de villiers will take uh, the game forward and uh, he couldn't do it because uh, he lost his uh, own game you know after he crossed 50 or 50 plus or so they lost the game and from nowhere srh suddenly passed in now so they are into the uh, you know uh, playoff uh, and rcb has already been packed so you cannot plan everything so first of all uh, you know making to do list is very good practice but sometimes without any list you just go there assess the situation what is required today to be done you just do that that is more important so you have to make room for surprises you can straight away call for a 2 minutes meeting 3 minutes meeting 5 minutes meeting stand up meeting anything like that it could be a surprise nothing wrong in giving a surprise you need not follow the same kind of an sop uh, you can see even the state government some people may say they are taking withdrawing their own decision they are saying we are going to have exams they are saying we are not going to have exams we are going to open the school and colleges on 16 we may not open the schools we are getting the you know opinions from the parents so that means they are making room for surprises looking at the situation assessing the situation taking views from everybody so it can vary from the things that you already planned so let's go for the next slide so stop waiting make ideas happen how ideas happen to you every idea will bring you you know huge kind of a wealth to the organization and to the individual because any idea that only will turn as a product or a project and that will bring people and that will end in profit and prosperity you look at uh, you know uh, somebody who is just climbing the stairs by you know leg and suddenly he thinks why should i climb why the steps itself should not move there comes the escalator there is an idea there so the escalator comes we used to have only one channel which is called dur version we used to have chitrahar or whatever on friday and a movie which is not so good which is not our a uh, our choice which comes on sunday a lot of uh, new channels come private channels come and you you know don't want to get up every time switch off switch on change the channel and all that somebody think of a remote and later on what happens with the same remote why i cannot operate the air condition as well why i cannot use the same remote for some other purpose also perhaps you know somebody who talks more in the house it could be a wife or husband it depends on the house so 
so they can use the same remote the, the idea comes and the next generation people they think why should i have a remote as well as a mobile in my hand let me apply something in the mobile itself let me have a remote control thing in my mobile itself and i will change channels i will reduce the volume i will increase the volume from my mobile itself why to have two three instruments in hand so make ideas happen you actually have to stop waiting and go for ideas when you go for new ideas miracles happen and that kind of a miracles it doesn't take more time it just happens you know very quickly as you blink the idea comes and when you execute an idea sometimes you know it creates magic in an organization in your life in your uh, you know in the world around you so next slide perfection is attained not when no more can be added but no more can be taken away i just want to give you two examples we have a painting of lord at home so we pray like that and you have a statue you know in the temple so statues are made out of uh, you know uh, a rock a sculptor decides whether this can become a good statue or not he removes whatever is not required then you get a beautiful statue and nothing can be you know taken away from that so everything has been taken away and now you have a beautiful statue in front of you and you look at the similarly you look at the picture that you have in your house it could be any kind of a deity and people just start adding many things it could include some ornaments crowns many things onto the picture to decorate the you know almighty so the perfection is attained not when no more can be added but when no more can be taken away so it can be either way it can be a statue can be a picture so what is perfection perfection is actually unachievable nobody is perfect in this world including the almighty that is why we have people who are not able to see who are not able to hear or actually some people are subnormal we, we we call them as mr children see that means perfection is a very difficult thing so you should not aim at perfection but you should aim at excellence uh, today somebody is celebrating the birthday his name is kamal hasan he always says excellency is very important i want to excel even if i am a sweeper even if i am a bathroom cleaner people should say he is the best bathroom cleaner so that is one's own perception one's own idea how you can reach excellence but it is very very difficult to reach perfection and you may have to sometimes put very less effort to get that excellence over a period of time uh, owing to your own experience owing to your own uh, you know virtues uh, wandering for knowledge your uh, environmental uh, you know atmosphere the way you look at things so it it keeps you improving day after day and every day next slide manage by exception means stop trying to manage the whole business alone nowadays we have lot of you know startup companies there are certain uh, you know owner managers they may grow let us say up to 50 crores from 5 crores to 50 crores so as they grow larger and larger you need to have from the personal approach to professional approach so you cannot just manage everything as we told there are seven aspect to the management like you know as i earlier said marketing money management material you know method man and machinery so if you look at the business plan perspective there are five w and one h so if you multiply 5w 1h into this 7 m's for example uh, you know what kind of people do you want when do you want why do you want how you are going to recruit them how you are going to get them so you when you apply that you will get something like you know 7 into uh, you know 6 42 answers you will get 
once you write down those answers that becomes your business plan so when you want to you know manage it by exception you have to stop trying to manage the business alone see many a teams they depend only on the captain that is what happened to rcb or even uh, csk this time so you have to perform as a collective uh, you know team so you have to simplify the process and rules and only apply your time expertise to exceptions when you say simplify I request all of you to kindly wait. The speaker has left the meeting because of an internet connection problem. Kindly wait. I've come back and uh, thank you for uh, you know waiting. So we were talking about uh, you know managing by exception by simplifying the process and rules. So every organization has got a you know standard rules. When uh, certain situation changes, like you know Corona. which has happened only after 100 years uh, you know government put certain norms we need to follow that whether you are a trading company service company or a manufacturing company so what happened uh, the uh, to the kumaran stores so they allowed more people the social distancing was not maintained the so the shop was closed and uh, in very recently only we were allowed to go and sit and eat dine there so earlier we were only getting parcels from the restaurants same way the it companies most of the it companies have asked people to work from home and a lot of uh, institutions educational institutions like schools and colleges they are doing online programs so things are just changing so there is a process and rule so it was very difficult for us earlier whether to go go for zoom whether to go for cisco whether to go for zoho whether to go for google so which one is very simple which one is you know easy for people to access which one is easy for everybody to you know customer friendly user friendly so that is how we go by management by exception so that means you are supposed to follow in fact uh, some of the it companies they have already decided even when things become very normal they are going to have only 25% of their total turnover in the office rest of them will only work from home for another 3 4 years that's what they have decided they have already declared that means there is a uh, huge loss in the industry currently there is an economic pause happening not because of the government or whatever it is the you know a natural uh, problem that has happened which is called the disaster that means when you have to overcome you cannot increase your income you have to bring down the expense so how can you cut down the cost only by your overheads so when you ask people not to come that means your electricity bill is cut your uh, you know uh, wifi bill is cut your uh, uh, tea coffee bill is cut so and uh, commutation charges are cut so there are many such expenses which are you know uh, being saved 
but it, don't think it is profit they are only reducing the loss in this kind of a term and we'll go to the next slide in fact now we are uh, in 641 we have to rush from now onwards uh, we have to automate every task possible that means people are now thinking about the artificial intelligence they are trying to replace human beings you know by robots it is predicted that even for tourists there could be a robo which will guide you to take uh, you know people around instead of the human being and we have seen in this uh, corona period some uh, it companies they came out with a robo which took medicines to the patient so that the contact is avoided so that means automation is tried everywhere uh, let me just tell you uh, a very beautiful example uh, in fact i am a, a you know appointed trainer for a private bank which is based out of chennai which is based out of south india uh, they have uh, you know n number of branches across the country and there are few branches which do not have managers at all they only have missions for five to six you know branches there will be one in charge who will always be on ram and he will go and check whether things are all right and customers are made to use the bank without any person or there we have that facility in every bank you can go and deposit the cash we can you know put your own entry in your passbook we can uh, you know even just from the uh, mobile itself you can actually start your uh, fixed deposit you can start your recurring deposit you can uh, remit money you can transfer money you can withdraw money whatever you want you can do it same way they also work on a beautiful thing that they only have 500 to 600 square feet of office where they are able to manage the entire branch and each branch of the bank is able to achieve between 30 to 100 crores that means with very very less people very very less space and with a lot of uh, you know less ex operating expenditure they are able to do it well which means they have they know they have understood how to leverage technology they have understood how people are best utilized they have understood how tasks are you know becoming redundant by making it very very possible by doing automation next slide and feedback is very very important see when you talk about the organization let's say even this program after this program a lot of feedback can go to the organizer it can go to the hod it can even go to sometimes the top management itself what kind of programs you are organizing you know the guy the guy is really blabbering whatever he spoke to us it was not relevant at all to our uh, you know course or program why are you wasting our time i see some people you know joining and then leaving joining and then leaving so i do not know what is the problem but still they want to have some kind of a quality uh, you know input to them so that means we have to solicit feedback am i on the right track so you have to involve stakeholders like you know while taking business decisions customers must know what they want suppliers can tell you what best they can you know uh, whatever practices that they have and employees have greatest insight make sure you act upon the feedback so generally people who give feedback we normally try to ignore them even at home some people some people say it is very spicy today so they will immediately snub him saying you always complain when you appreciate it you never said it is very good when it is not good immediately you start to complain so you look at uh, you know some of the programs also like uh, you know in fact i am very uh, skeptical about uh, the singer chitrama in atal super singers uh, she will note down many points that singer would have given his best he or she she will say i just don't want to give any comment but still you know that particular mistake you could have avoided see nowadays musicians want to warn the music they slightly improve they slightly make changes they don't want to exactly copy and produce it so that means of course you have to take feedback from the experts but at the same time 
the feedback has to be constructive and you have to be very open in accepting the feedback and amending your action your plan of action so that it results in the best possible manner which is expected by the you know all stakeholders let's go to the next slide so improve the employee satisfaction the problem in every organization at the current juncture so some of the companies they have reduced 30 percent salary some of the companies they are very clearly told no uh, you know increment to you no bonus to you no uh, you know uh, employee benefits to you this year because we are incurring loss so some people may you know talk about the loss business act I mean my bonus act this that but still when there was no business at all for nearly three to four months some people uh, some uh, you know employers were making payment if you look at the uh, you know employees from north india they left tirupur Coimbatore, uh, hosu they have gone back to their native place now the companies are wanting to send them flight tickets and wanting to call them why because they are giving more productivity that means the employee satisfaction for some people it relies or it reminds with money for some people it is just the title for some people you give them more work they'll be very happy for some people you you just smile at them they'll be very happy so you have to improve employee satisfaction by everything that is possible by creating a positive culture in the most productive uh, you know thing and eliminate frustrating systems so that people you know don't feel unhappy at any time at all so even if you do not uh, uh, you know give them bonus or whatever you can actually give them some kind of assurance nowadays nowadays nobody is in a position to promise even the md of the company do not know how things are going to change what kind of order is expected how the market is going to improve uh, you know what kind of turnover they can expect uh, in the coming financial year so nothing is uh, you know predictable at the moment but still they can assure you so we are with you don't you worry you just take care of us we will take care of you so that means allow employees to offer superior service identify and address system so very difficult thing happening now is working from home that means you are not working for home you are working from home so there is a big challenge happening for many employees uh, because just because you are working from home people at home do not understand what you are doing whether you're on a call whether you're doing really doing a presentation whether you're doing a discussion whether uh, you are creating some ideas what you do not what you are doing they may not know so they may think that you are spending more time and you are spending very less time with the uh, you know family members because nowadays you are not allowed to go as well so the situation has to be very congenial whether you are working from home or working from the office it's called the it's called gemba that means your working atmosphere must be very very happy beautiful so that the employee is satisfied next slide streamline communications you have to deliver fast you know knowledgeable service keeps the customers very satisfied supposing let's say there is a delay because you are waiting for a raw material to come from some other place let's say china germany or uh, north india then only you can produce you have to be very transparent in telling your customers by communicating them it will take some more time and you are operating only with 30 percent capacity 40 percent capacity whatever it is and knowledgeable service keeps customers satisfied and uh, if you look at it people are you know able to sell some cars and uh, bikes and everything they are expecting a huge amount of uh, you know uh, trade that is going to happen during diwali time uh, from online itself the amazon flipkart kind of a thing are trying to achieve you know uh, several thousand crores and that is quite possible only when you have the stock when you communicate to customers this is what is the price this is what is the discount this is what you are going to get back so everything is now being handled by email and even if you go for a test nowadays 
the test report comes to you from certain laboratories by email to you so they don't duplicate efforts and timeless uh, you know is the key so timeliness is the key that means people want it to be very prompt they want it to be very punctual so you have to streamline your communication system and nowadays people create broadcasting groups so that you just make one uh, communication it reaches many people and they are also available in many places for example we have created uh, this particular poster for this program so uh, you are posting it in uh, you know your uh, youtube you are creating a separate youtube here you are trying to make a poster you are trying to send it uh, through various other uh, th things like linkedin even uh, i have posted it in facebook linkedin twitter uh, you know see that means one communication but it is delivered in different platform so that it reaches more people with you know much or uh, you know not with very very less effort so the communication is expected to be very very strong nowadays go to the next slide if you can't explain it simply you don't understand it well enough that means we talked about communication in the previous slide the top management calls the hr chief maybe you have you have been called and they are telling you whether to recruit people or to sack people so hire or fire whatever it is they communicate to you and you need to explain that in a very simple language so that people don't get hurt it doesn't backfire it doesn't affect the organization that means you need to understand the message very very well and you have to find a way how you can communicate this particular message to people so if you can't explain it simply you don't understand it well enough so there used to be uh, you know a very uh, popular anecdote that albert einstein used to make lot of lectures uh, in various places in most of the cases he used to give the same kind of uh, you know lectures everywhere one day his uh, driver asked sir today you become the driver and i will address the public hey are you kidding with me no 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 sir i can do it because almost you know uh, i've also listened many a times i by heart at uh, all the slides and everything the kind of presentation where to stop where to make a pause where to put a video everything i have understood sir so let me just do so he did it and when the question came from the audience so he said it's a very silly question just sit down even my driver can answer this so that means his presence of mind was so beautiful and he could explain it very very simply because he has understood that enough so that is what is expected of you that means you have to be your base must be very very strong when your theory is very strong then your practice will be very very easy for the next time less space more profit if you look at uh, you know some of the uh, offices in mumbai and if you look at it uh, you know in china hong kong and various other places the space is very very less you go to any mall they may have a very huge showroom outside when you go to the mall they have the best of the stocks and if you look at the people there could be one or two they are not salesmen they are not trying to push or pull they will not you know try to bring people inside they will not push any product on you unless you ask for any query any help they will not you know interfere they will allow you to go around the shop pick up whatever you want so that is what is happening in many supermarkets in many of the you know you know bouquet shops or you know or boutiques or whatever so sales per square feet so we are talking about return on investment here it's not just simply about men it is about the space that we are occupying and how many people are you know appointed over there and there is a product mix, mix as well if you look at the krishna sweets kind of a shop they have you know hugely improved in their uh, marketing strategies their packaging strategies the way they have decorated the shop the way they have kept the product and it attracts people you know to go for it so same way many of the top uh, you know supermarkets 
they attract people like that they, they keep announcing uh, many things so every square foot that you know that matters but if you look at uh, shops like sarona stores or pothis or whatever so let us say pothis here in chennai uh, i used to train uh, pothis uh, you know uh, almost all the branches across uh, tamil nadu uh, you know including coimbatore and all that even in in osman road uh, there were eight floors the nearly 1900 employees are working and supposing they change the company into a mall kind of a system they put only 50 people in each floor other people will lose their jobs that means people are expected to be more multi skilled so that even if they lose jobs they are able to do something else so they, you are supposed to work with high efficiency and uh, company is looking for profits you know with your layout with your uh, locations and uh, the way uh, you know you decorate things where you know you you are one uh, uh, one step ahead or par on par or uh, a little beyond the competitor uh, you know uh, shop so you are able to make a better business there and you are uh, very productive and you are very profitable that's very very important so that means less space more profit next slide next slide less people more profit roi per employee now this is the uh, you know uh, very important slide which is very relevant to our particular uh, subject here one of the largest uh, you know expenses for a company is salary and benefits for the workers and profitable companies they leverage the investment in people so if you talk about the lnd department you, they don't say i spend so much money on training I have invested so much money on training. That means I want people to learn continuously. There are, uh, you know, certain uh, banks, certain organizations. They have training throughout the year, and they try to enhance their employees in every possible way. They are updated in every way. So they develop their workers. Uh, they make them very productive, and they introduce their latest system. In fact, German people they do not call it as best practice. They only say good practice. When you say best practice, there is no scope for improvement. You have to call it as good practice so that you are able to take it to the next level. Good, better, best. So that means you have to you know help your workers operate very productively in similar asset utilization. Similarly, you know how uh, the assets are used, which means. Uh, if you have more people and there are no uh, you know, raw material available, you have more people and you have more material also, and the machines are not you know working well. So when you start, uh, let us say two or three shifts, first of all, the manager in charge over there on the floor is supposed to ensure that everything is in order, so that as I told you, you know, at the initial uh, stage of my uh, presentation. It's not just material. It's not just uh, you know machine. It's not just men. They all you know have to be looked as money. People you know look at as money because we are in business. We are not into charity. So we have to use less people for more profit. Every you know employee is accountable. For example, now in IPL, uh, there are many people who have been bought for eight to twelve crores and they are not performed well. Somebody like Natarajan, they must have been bought for a very, very low price, but every match is playing so well. Tevatia, for example. So that means they expect more, uh, you know, from the employee by paying very less. So that is how it's actually, it's not wrong. That is how the business perspective goes, actually. Next slide. Less space, less confusion, more products, more profit. So we have talked about the space earlier. That means uh, when you are very big, you do not know where you have entered, how to go out, where is the entry, where is the exit, uh, where is the you know uh, restaurant or cafeteria or where is the you know HODs department, where is the HR department, where is the training hall. So there is a big confusion. So if the place is very, if you say small is beautiful, no. So when you have less space, less confusion, and when you have more products, more profit. So what happened in the COVID period? Most of the automobile company, manufacturing companies, engineering companies, they started to make ventilators. 
and most of the liquor companies they have uh, started to make you know sanitizers even the shampoo companies uh, even kevin care introduced 1 rupee sachet uh, as a sanitizer kind of a thing so that means you must have range of products to uh, you know bring out that range of product there must be some kind of a flexible manpower there must be a flexible machinery flexible methodology so that you are not rigid in your you know uh, outlet you are not able to say tell the customers are uh, saying i cannot produce this you look at uh, some of the uh, companies like tata hyundai maruti and all they are able to cater to many kind of vehicles uh, depends uh, from 2 lakhs to uh, something like 1 crore how there are, there are no products available in front of the people for their choice and they are able to get more profit so if you if you go to a jewelry shop the diamond section may be very very small but they get huge money from diamond shops because diamond is very expensive but whereas the silver section may be very very big they get very less money if you look at the textile shop they also have a space for handkerchiefs they have a space for lungis they have a space for bunions they have a space for undergarments but it doesn't fetch them more money but if you look at the silk sarees you know just one floor or half a floor just by selling one sari they may sell something like 20 lakhs per one bill itself so the pains your product range how you are able to get more profit and where you are going to get more profit you should employ you know your best people there so that your profit is assured next slide less land less time more crop now we are not able to predict whether it is going to rain or not some people you know you might have seen in the television they will complain this week saying you know i'm not getting rain so uh, actually we are in a huge loss so they will be waiting for the rain and suddenly like you know what is happening in chennai over the past 3 4 days heavy rain will come next week if uh, they will complain to the government or the minister sir we have lost all the crops please compensate for that previous week they would have asked money for the draft that is they have no water now they are saying we have more water no crop so we have to understand what kind of a product mix i am going to use there so that is why our prime minister says in less time more results so what can fetch you within a year instead of producing twice or thrice can i do it four times what product can bring me more money so that means he has also brought one system called ek bharat shreshtha bharat he has coupled you know two states with each other so that he can do lot of trading you understand each other now tamil nadu is coupled with jammu and kashmir so jammu and kashmir is so popular uh, for uh, apple and tulip flowers and uh, you know uh, like uh, Uh, lot of uh, mountainous uh, products uh, you know like uh, let's say kesariya because no kumma put so no yeah so we have that so how we can get those products here and their shawls and many things and how we can send our products over there so that is the kind of uh, you know exchange ideas we must have across the country across the globe so that is the idea next slide less stress more peace i tell you in this lockdown period though it is not completely relaxed everybody is stressed the moment you get a cold or cough or slightly headache or fever you just match your symptom with the symptoms already declared by the media or by the doctors or by the government and you think you got corona and you will immediately go for a salt water gargling you will go for a you know a tulsi water and uh, you know you will go for a, a hot, hot water steam that means you are into stress it is actually said that more than 70% of the indian population are not sleeping in this you know last 8 or 9 months that means if you have less stress you have more peace so that means you have to have more peace that means you must be de stressed how you can de stress yourself by having some power nap by doing some meditation by doing by dhyana by doing yoga and breathing practices so you have to prepare yourself physically mentally psychologically so that is how you can face this you know crisis and come over it and less distraction more mindfulness 
now we have more distraction you can see many of the people have switched off their videos why they don't want uh, you know to appear in the video because there is a lot of distraction they can even switch off the audio and video they will have a sip of coffee they will just look at uh, you know their mobile they will simultaneously chat so there are a lot of distraction happening right now that means you are not mindful you are not completely focusing on what is happening around you so you are expected to spend more you know mindfulness and you have to reduce your distraction next slide which button would you press lose weight sleep better more energy less body fat more muscle more money you can put it in the chat box i'll give you 30 seconds time if you are not able to you know type the entire word you can even type the color right since you're all very young some of you are obvious you want to say lose weight lose weight and uh, let me tell you uh, from my angle if you sleep better you will get more energy when you are having more energy you will have more muscle you will actually uh, lose your body weight and uh, you lose your weight also and uh, you can work for more money by adapting yourself to any kind of a situation so you have to sleep at least for 5 to 6 hours minimum so that you are having more energy the next day it's very very important that is my option of pressing the green button that obviously brings the other things in place by just pressing one button i get three or four uh, you know as a bonus to me next slide so i have come to the uh, you know final uh, slide now not work in comfort zone so the success lies only the uh, zone which is outside the comfort zone that means we have to look into the challenge zone what is challenge zone attending the class completely for an hour if it is good if it is not good of course you can opt to go out uh, we are not able to you know track you we are not going to ask you like the physical uh, classroom it's a virtual classroom so try new things and expand horizons so that means you can go for online certifications in this corona period let me very quickly tell you uh, in fact i have put 65 videos every day and i have written a lot of short stories i have written a lot of poems every day i bring you know quotations uh, as a state of my whatsapp status and i have done a lot of programs in the uh, television in this corona period uh, similarly there are uh, something somebody like boski uh, he has done two videos you know every day it's called humorology and there are some people who write a poem every day as there are some people i tell you i want to tell you one lady her name is maria teresa she has worked as a college professor she is actually age of 63 she got the tamil chemal award just 3 days back from the chief minister uh, she has earlier released 50 books in uh, at a stretch in one stage now in this covid time she has taken one and a half days to complete one book she has written 100 books and she is going to release it at at a stretch in one stage and that is going to create a different kind of a record actually so you have to come out of the comfort zone that's very very important and do not you know uh, do without first learning never stop seeking a new knowledge and once you learn it you need to share sharing and caring is very important anus missionary gets rusted anus time dies anus potential decays and anus knowledge becomes a burden so once you you know get a new knowledge just share it with others and do not fear asking for advice if you ask for advice you need not think that you are going to be considered as fools you can you have your own opinion you also ask advice like taking a second opinion before you take a decision after taking a decision you cannot go back do not get lost in small details people nowadays they say big data which is called the business analytics and all that so you have to look for very big details there is a huge difference between men and women uh, i'll just very quickly give an example supposing a gent who is attending a marriage he comes home 
So the family members are asking, how was the wedding? You say very good. There's one word answer. If you ask the wife, she has gone to her colleague's marriage and she has come back. You ask, how was the, the marriage? She will tell everything in detail. How many people came? How, what kind of food was uh, served? How many VIPs came? How the bride and, uh, you know, they were all dressed up and what kind of uh, time it took for, for her to go to the stage to give the uh, gift. So many details they will give. That means you have to get into big details. You should not be lost in small details. You should not do multitasking. One thing at a time, you know, you can focus on. And do not lie to your own self. Many a times that's what we do. You are accountable only to yourself, not to anybody else. You are, you are answerable to your own self. So accept your difficulty, share it with others, and identify that and improve it upon. And don't follow, but lead. You can actually look upon many people, but don't follow anybody. You have to create your own path. You know what Rajini says. So you have to create your own path. And you have to lead from the front. And do not let the past dictate your future. For everybody, uh, especially those who are doing MHR, some of you have left your job and joined this course so that your future is going to be better. So you please focus on your present and future and let the past not determine or deteriorate or disturb your present and future. That's very, very important. And do not hang around negative people at all. Just leave them. Don't talk to them. And don't be in touch with them. I'm not saying you should, uh, you know, insult them. But try to be away from them. Next slide. Either don't do it or do it with devotion. Nothing in between. That means whatever you do, you have to do it with devotion. Devotion is the biggest ocean in the world. I am just giving a different spelling here. Devotion is the biggest ocean in the world. So when you do it with devotion, everything will fall in place. You will be very successful. Do it you know, a lot of, with a lot of your uh, passion, actually. Devotion and passion, these two words, they go together. And don't do anything for money. If you do it for passion, if you do it with devotion, always success will come. Money is incidental. If you do only for money, you will not be successful. You will not be happy at all. Thank you so much. Now I add over the forum to uh, you know, Gayatri and company. Uh, they can look at the chat box. You can, if you want, you can ask me, ask me any questions. And if you have no questions, uh, you can uh, give your feedback one or two maybe. Or whatever procedure that you have been following all these days. Thank you so much. It was a uh, uh, you know, great joy. Uh, making a presentation to you. Hope uh, the time that you have spent here, right from you know six o'clock to seven fourteen now, uh, you know it's been very useful. I hope you have invested your time for the right session, and uh, it doesn't end in listening to what has been said here. Uh, you have to put it into practice. So we, when we say MBA, it is not you know uh, Master Business Administration. It is you know management by uh, application so you have to apply uh, you know whatever you have learned so that you know you are going to be successful i wish you all the very best uh, don't you get worried about the economic decision or industry or whatever absolutely when you have studied in dg version of mhrm you are going to be guaranteed uh, with a wonderful job in fact i have requested uh, you know the city union bank uh, hr people uh, to visit you uh, I have talked to the HR people already about your program, so you might get uh, you know some campus uh, recruitment because they are in a very big expansion uh, drive now. They got the youngest CEO in this country who's uh, leading uh, their bank. So obviously, you know, patience is the key. So please wait; your turn will come. And uh, at the same time, keep yourself engaged with positive things. Keep yourself updating. And uh, you can also become an entrepreneur uh, if that interests you. Thank you so much for the wonderful opportunity. God bless you. Thank you so much, sir. We have some questions in the chat box. Can we proceed? Yeah, yeah, please. OK. Uh, so Varshni has maybe asked. Can, maybe you can close the presentation. Sure, sure. OK, sir. Uh, so Varshni Raman has asked a question. Uh, how do we hit the sweet spot of doing less 
that is spending less on employees as hr and achieving uh, high return on investment that means uh, you should not look for the good people ask first of all yourself whether you are a good good person you will say yes but the companies are not looking at the good people they want the best person so that means you have to be the best in everything you have to deliver whatever is given to you so uh, now even in ipl people were uh, talking very you know bad of uh, shikhar dhawan suddenly he made you know back to back centuries and why we are praising uh, people like uh, tevatia uh, you know like uh, somebody like uh, surya kumar somebody like uh, you know the uh, nadrajan kind of a people they have come from a very down south salem they are the best in their uh, own field so that means with best people with less effort and less money you will get the best and obviously when they become best and they are they able to deliver for a couple of years they may opt to go out nowadays i tell you for hr people the challenge remains not in recruiting only in retaining people by doing correct employment engagement activity and recognizing them appreciating them and giving them the due rewards uh, so that they are retained with you and they become the leader and they create more leaders that is how it can happen white elephants nobody can afford especially at the moment of this economic uh, you know crisis juncture people do not want white elephants they are going to be sacked so either you have to perform or perish that is the order of the day that means you cannot just uh, you know act like some people uh, when they look at their father they will open the book as if they are studying same thing happens in the factory also when the boss comes they will say boss come boss come boss come you are not working for the boss you you are answerable to your own self give your best as i said try to be excellent when you are excellent somebody is watching like big boss people are watching you you will definitely be rewarded but patience is the key any other question thank you sir. yes sir uh, so there's a question from vishrut how will be the return on investment for training and development given the situation uh, that's what uh, for after every training you have to actually uh, from the hr department or from the lnd department if you have a separate department you must uh, you know talk to your people uh, see the training can be for knowledge it can be for attitude it can be for technology uh, or maybe skill whether they have learned the right thing whether we have brought the right faculty whether people have learned it correctly whether we have uh, put the right people for the training at all because some people may not be interested in training they will sit and waste the time by just by giving numbers to the trainer it doesn't i know help the organization and after training how they are applying whether you know they are able to put it into results so it has to improve in their you know attitude their behavior and uh, it should result in more profitability or productivity or whatever so that has to be observed and that is how the return on investment is measured actually uh, in fact from vision unlimited we have one practice in many other training programs the training uh, you know people who attend they give a feedback in my case uh, from our company we give trainers feedback how people have participated in the training class who have emerged as a leader who have contributed to the program success who have uh, got new ideas who are taking more initiative like the big boss game who is more interested who is involving himself who is taking more initiative i will give a b c kind of a report to the management and if they are into the c category they will be given one more training they are into b category they will be kept you know ready for promotion if they are in the a category they will be considered for immediate promotion that is how companies expect from the training so that is how you can face the return on investment in in, the, in terms of learning and development hope i have answered your point yes sir thank you so much there, there are two more questions uh, so how do you incorporate less is more in manufacturing sector as i told you 
uh, I don't know how many people have visited uh, you know factories like Hyundai, uh, you know like uh, uh, mobility uh, organizations, where there is a small and routine activity. Human beings are absolutely removed. They are brought in complete automation, and this is going to increase in numbers day after day. That means they do not want unskilled or semi-skilled people at all. Everybody must be skilled. and that skill should result in productivity and if i want i will reduce certain methodology if the machine is not required i'll remove the machine which is called actually kaizen and uh, there is a thing called you know tqm uh, which is called total quality management introduced by dr deming what he says is during the process in the manufacturing industry from one workstation to the other station when the product moves there must be one small improvement in the product if it moves to the next work station or the internal customer without any improvement you cut that particular operation uh, itself when you cut that operation maybe you may have to remove the machine you may have to remove the employee maybe we have to alter the methodology it's called the reengineering so that will bring more benefit if you, if you take the example of the petrol bunk earlier you have to pay money to somebody then somebody will put the petrol somebody then will uh, you know give you the bill like that nowadays he himself gives if you look at uh, some of the uh, you know uh, buses here the driver himself gives you the ticket and he opens the door and uh, he only drives so everything is taken care by him so that is what is manufacturing industries are doing now so artificial intelligence are going to be uh, playing a major role and uh, human uh, you know brain and uh, computer interface is going to be a, a play a major role in the days to come and lot of uh, new apps are being uh, introduced lot of machines and equipments and mobile applications are being used so in some of the uh, large organizations uh, they have just 10 or 15 people on the floor but they get huge vehicles which is worth crores of money everything only due to automation and by precision timing so that means globe has become very very small we are trying to bring in machines from italy germany even the technology people come and train you here so we are trying to get the best product from best uh, you know uh, supplier we have to use the best methodology we have to use the best employee we have to use the best machinery and the result is also best that is what is being practiced now in the manufacturing industry thank you so much thank you sir uh, so there's a question from divakar how to improve okay. employee satisfaction during covid time uh, first of all uh, we have to ensure their safety means uh, without you know uh, giving them the fear without hindering them we have to ensure that they are supple healthy there is something called uh, you know uh, diet food nam ipo tamil la solrom lya and immunity nu solitte odambuk theviyana edirpu shakti so canteen might provide some kind of food that will help the employee and if they are not let us say there is an industry where the employee is not coming provide them the Uh, furniture and fittings and uh, you know whatever uh, expenses they are required to establish their small office uh, in their house itself they have to take a selfie how nice their office is and send it to their office so that the company is very happy to see that you are working in a beautiful uh, atmosphere and ambience which is called gimba so employee satisfaction is not just giving them money alone by assuring them that we are taking care of you in every way possible so you have to pro provide them some kind of a healthy you know kits to them healthy food to them and see that uh, they are uh, feeling very safe and secure uh, you know provide uh, uh, career guidance to their children provide employment opportunity self employment opportunity to a spouse to the employees so there are many things that many organizations are planning by employee engagement activities to provide employee satisfaction thank you sir uh, there are a few more questions uh, yeah. this is from akshay as well uh, how to accept criticism and move on as budding hrs as well as normal growing adults 
see, uh, supposing uh, you have been doing very well, right, from your school days, always you have been uh, appreciated and you have never seen criticism at all. That means uh, that person particularly, I wouldn't say he is very complacent, but he is very confident. There is a very subtle difference between uh, being complacent and being confident. So there is a point here that you might also make mistakes. The error is human. And somebody criticizes you, you have to accept it in the right spirit. Suppose, and as a manager, you are also expected not to criticize people in front of others. When you want to appreciate, you can do it in front of others. When you want to criticize, you take them in separate and tell them where they have made mistakes and also give them the idea how they can improve, where they have done mistakes, where they are lacking. It could be people skill, it could be technology, it could be anything. So you have got to make them understand where they have made a mistake by giving them the critical constructive criticism. And the person who is receiving it also should not look at the person who is giving criticism or a comment or feedback as a villain. First of all, you have to thank him. There are very few people who give you such feedbacks. Many people may change you to another team. They may even sack you. They may even transfer you. So they can even say, you please go out. So it can happen to anybody. Instead, they are already giving you some kind of a feedback, criticism. You take it in the right spirit so that you can improve day after day, every day, so that you are benefited, the organization is benefited, your team is benefited. So that is how you must take. So I tell you, among your 40 or 45 students, all of you are very brilliant. Some of you have already worked in an organization. So you may not have heard any kind of criticism so far, but I tell you, HR is the one who is going to be there from the day one and who is going to be there in the last day also. So when he is entering the first day, he may have uh, something like uh, uh, we are giving sanitizers nowadays. So supposing uh, when you are sacking people, you will be having phenol and uh, broomstick in your hand. So you cannot be popular all the time. You may be in a difficult position also. You have to be prepared for the worst. And you are representing the management. You are supposed to keep all your secrets with you. You are not supposed to share with anybody. So you are supposed to be very mature. And you may have many secrets of the organization when they are going to close, when they are going to start another branch, when they are going to reduce people, when they are going to recruit people, everything you may know. But you are not supposed to share it with others. So that's very, very important. So as HR people, so you must upgrade yourself and keep in good communication, you know, uh, with your top management to get the information, share the credit with your colleagues and disseminate the right information at the right method to the people who are working along with you. I'm not saying working under you. That culture is going. Hope I answered you. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, what qualities are needed to be an effective manager from the future perspective? Uh, see, if you look at Google or some of the management, self-management books or self-improvement books, it may say 32 to 64 qualities. You may not possess all that. And it doesn't come to you just one day. Uh, and uh, as I told you, at the beginning of my session, just theory is not good enough. You have to put it into practice. That means uh, you may have to try new things. You have to make mistakes, learn every day uh, from your own mistakes, learn from others, learn from your competitor. Uh, you can actually learn from uh, the advertisements also. Uh, you know, so there are a lot of things that you can learn. So as a human resource person, even you have to your perception of watching a video watching an advertisement, watching a feature film or a short film, it must be different. What I can learn from this? For example, I can tell you Havel's ad, which goes just for 34 seconds. There is an old age home. One sister is uh, in charge. She's sitting. Uh, you might have seen the ad. Young couple, they are just entering. Without even asking them, the sister will tell them, don't you worry. So just bring your parents, I will take care of them. Immediately, the youngsters will say, sorry, sister, 
we have not come to leave the you know parents here we have come to adopt a, uh, you know a couple over from here that means listening is very very important for an hr person because you have to you already gone through nlp training if possible you do go through a short course on counseling as well uh, listening plays a major role and uh, in fact you know active listening not just passive listening uh, you might act as if you are listening you are not listening to respond you are listening to understand and you are supposed to empathize uh, you know with your colleagues their problems and you have to represent that problem in the right perspective to the management and whatever the management tells you you have to inform or disseminate that kind of an information to the employee in the right perspective so that the mood is maintained that's very very important so the hr's role is very critical uh, sometimes you know you may not be popular at the same time you may not uh, roam around the factory or office like a lioness or lion you can be very friendly but at the same time you must know what role you are playing what is what is your responsibility where you are accountable where you are responsible uh, what is expected of you how you can give maximum return to the organization because you are appointed sometimes you know uh, for the managerial cadre they may ask you to write uh, a few lines why you should be given this post you would have given a beautiful uh, you know article while you are recruited after that you would have forgotten what you have been doing so every time you can interact with your boss where you are uh, you know going wrong whether you are on the right track uh, if the boss is able to you know enable you to improve day after day he will go to the next level and you will go to his level that is how the organization operates yeah thank you sir the last question okay. for the session uh, it's from prasanna uh, how to avoid organizational uh, conflicts with our peers very nice uh, we are supposed to have people skill okay so there are many skills which are expected of a manager especially of a good leader or especially of a good hr manager because when you say human relationship uh, you know i would say happy relationship everybody should be happy in the organization only happy people they produce results happy people are more energetic happy people are more you know in a learning mode so you are supposed to keep them very very happy so that means uh, you have to have that kind of an interpersonal relationship with everybody uh, people are of different types like you have different fruits you know how to you know eat an apple you know how to eat a jackfruit uh, you know similarly uh, we are also able to see birds uh, how they you know behave there are also a lot of animals how they behave so you are not supposed to be uh like a cobra so you are supposed to be uh, you know like a lion you need not be giant like an elephant so why lion is called the king of the forest it is it is actually small in size but it it is very very wise and uh, it is able to meet with its own needs and also it is able to meet with the uh, needs of the uh, people around them so that is what is expected of an hr i would uh, say from my own example you know example very quickly uh, i started my career as a you know typist clerk and uh, then i became accounts clerk accounts officer assistant uh, you know administrative manager administrative manager deputy general manager general manager and then uh, executive director and vice president of a company then i called it a day one day i started my own in the year 2008 so in the meanwhile i did nine diplomas Two MS and one PhD, and also various certifications like NLP, TA, or not, and all that. So that means learning is never ending. You have to keep on learning. You have to update yourself, upgrade yourself, and you have to be in par with the industry, be in par with your uh, other, uh, you know, colleagues, so that every time you are able to deliver whatever assignment given to you, and at the same time. by maintaining good relationship you are able to get things done that is more important for a manager how to get things done that is a big challenge for you so very nicely you have to talk uh, at the same time uh, you know you should not be poisonous namakitta vande vishayam irukanum vashamamu vashamu irukavudu it is very important so thank you so much uh, hope i have answered uh, all the queries and uh, once again thank 
you know all the people who have stayed back nearly 65 people have stayed back uh, till the end of the session though is it has exceeded uh, our normal time of 7 o'clock instead of that we have gone up to 7:35 so i uh, hand over the session to gayatri and company uh, for the rest of the proceedings like what of thanks or what about thank you so much sir for the wonderful session now i request pralad bird to render the vote of thanks thank you gayatri before you are a leader success is all about growing yourself when you become a leader success is all about growing others i pralad of second mhrm take this wonderful opportunity to thank our esteemed speaker mr balasubramaniam founder and ceo of vision unlimited for sharing his valuable insight and knowledge on the topic less is more roi from the hr perspective i would like to share a few key takeaway points from today's session theory without practice is useless and practice without theory is baseless uh, the seven ms less marketing less money less material less men less machine less management and less method never stop learning new knowledge we as future hrs would really would really work on the understanding provided by our lively speaker i would like to thank our pg department of hrs pillar our hod dr nc martin for arranging this webinar and our professor subhatni for supporting to organize this webinar uh, providing us with enlightening tour to the pr pragmatic arena of hr finally i extend my gratitude to the participants from various professions and the students kindly fill up the feedback form which is provided in the chat box below with your name and email address stay home stay safe thank you all i also say the same uh, stay home stay safe take care my god bless you and happy diwali in advance thank you so much sir happy diwali to you thank you sir thank you so much martin sir god bless you hari haran hari haran thank you so much thank you thank you bala sir thank you very much thank you sir